Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Lifestylicity, where we talk about the realities of living a plant-based life. Today, I want to discuss with you guys a very personal subject for me, and I know I'm not the only one who goes through slash has gone through this, and so I just want to share my own experience, and that is about my past addiction to sweets. Um, we all know that addictions can follow you no matter where you go or the things that you may change in your life until you actually, you know, overcome that addiction. I know some people say once an addict, always an addict, but I don't think that is true. I think people can recover, people can fully heal, and people can even stare that past addiction in the face and be able to overcome it. And I am a person that can say that I have overcome. So I would say somewhere around 2013 when I went away to college and started to eat whatever I wanted was when I first started to develop an addiction to sweets. I loved having candy all the time and then my favorite thing to have was actually ice cream. Just had to have my ice cream you guys like it was just no question ice cream or shakes and I even remember at one point when I got married to my husband almost every day we went to the cookout so that I could get me their chocolate shake or the chocolate shake with wafers so yeah I had um, quite a bit going on and I gained so much weight just from not really watching what I was doing it took me until December of 2020 to finally say enough was enough and some people's approach to kicking addictions may not be the same as mine but with this specific addiction I actually decided to fast for 25 days I had no food no fruit drinks and stuff like that it was just water and I guess sometimes when my elect uh, my electrolytes were getting low I did have a little Pedialyte or I would put like salt on my tongue and then eventually I did start to put lemon in my water just because I was getting too nauseated all the time and of course in my fasting I was praying seeking God and studying very diligently and in those 25 days I was able to overcome my addiction and I know that because even till this day to the point of this video I am still free from my addiction but I want to say that even when people overcome addiction that does not mean that they won't be tempted again in the future. A lot of people think that when you're free from an addiction that means you'll never want it again. And for some people that is true. I believe that when it comes to that sometimes God will literally strip that desire away from you completely. Like people who used to smoke now they can't even stand the sight and the smell of cigarettes while other people it's like it feels like a thorn in your side like ugh, you know this is something that you constantly have to keep at the forefront of your mind like hey don't go back make sure you're doing the right things to keep yourself free from this addiction as of right now that is where I will say that I am I have to always be conscious to make sure that I don't fall back into old habits so for me personally one of the first things that I'll do if I feel myself craving sweets craving that ice cream and shakes more and more one of the first things I will do is go on a cleanse actually I'm doing a cleanse now because of some things that have been going on I realized that I was kind of diverting back to my old ways a little bit and I realized the root of course I already knew the root of why I had the food addiction and because some of those problems were starting to come up I started to digress a little and I was like mm-mm I can't do this. So one of my remedies when I feel that craving coming along, this isn't just for people who suffer from food addiction. This could also just pe be people who realize they're craving sweets a little more and they wanna crave less. One of the things you can do is go on a cleanse. Right now I'm doing a grapefruit cleanse and the majority of my stuff is grapefruits and water and then I do have other little fruits that I'll snack on should I decide to. But the reason I say do a cleanse is because naturally when a person does a cleanse it helps to remove cravings that is a scientific thing there it removes those cravings of course you might crave those things in the midst of the cleanse but as you keep going however long you decide to go that will diminish those cravings will go down and so I really like doing cleanses for that reason actually right now I'm on day two and I 
I haven't really craved anything. I haven't even really craved food, if I'm being honest. Um, so yes, I like to go on cleanses, and then the next thing I like to do is actually just fast, which I put that second because I do still love food, so I only fast if it's absolutely necessary. Again, fasting is just like doing a cleanse where it can help strip away those desires, those cravings within your physical body. Definitely fast. Sometimes you can fast. I would say fast about a minimum of three days. You know, it's well for everyone. It's not easy to fast one day, but it's easy to fast for one day and then just go back to eating. I don't think anything is really truly accomplished there. And I'm not even talking about from a spiritual perspective because fasting isn't just for believers. Fasting is for everyone. Um, scientists have even said that fasting, whether it's intermittent or for a certain you know, amount of days, every other day, all that stuff, that is beneficial to the human body. So I want to make that clear that I'm not only talking to a select group of people, but I'm talking to everybody. You can all fast, but I think that fasting for at least three days can accomplish more than just fasting for one day because you're not really overcoming much except for the desire to eat on that first day like to just eat period you know whereas fasting for more and more days of course you're still fighting against the desire to eat period but you're also stripping away the desire for specific things so if you are someone who is like me who is a sweets addict or food addict or was a sweets a food addict and you want advice for how to when those cravings come to push them away and keep on trucking to keep up with your progress then i would say go on a cleanse okay or fast if you need to because those things are really helpful I promise you they are and again we all know it's a mind thing right we know it's about what's going on in our minds yeah sure and we need to tackle those things we need to find out the root of our addictions yes but after you find out the root you also have to take other steps right to better yourself um, and to better your body because of course and again this advice applies to anyone, but specifically for those who are plant-based. I'm assuming if you went plant-based, it was to live healthier. I don't know any other reason people go plant-based. I mean, of course, some people try it for 30 days, but the goal is to still see how healthy it is or how beneficial or maybe not beneficial it is. So I'm assuming, yes, if you went plant-based or even vegetarian, that you want to live a healthier life. So being addicted to sweets is not a good thing because even as a plant-based person, as myself now, you can be an unhealthy vegan. You can be an unhealthy plant-based person, vegetarian, pescatarian, whatever. All of those food labels that we have in this world. And you don't want to do that as a plant-based person. So definitely make sure that you're really searching in your mind why you have your food addiction. Because everything has a root, okay? Every addiction has a root. It's not just because, ooh, it tastes good and I really love it. Like me, I, I like to eat my emotions okay so there were certain and it's a specific set of emotions not just when i'm feeling sad although i do love ice cream if if i am feeling sad but there are specific problems that would occur in my life that would make me want to eat sweets that would make me want to eat ice cream and everything so you have to be able to pinpoint those things yes and then make sure you take the extra steps to keep yourself out of that addiction so that is pretty much it for today i hope that the advice i gave has helped you slash will help you in the future and at the end of the day we all know that your lifestyle is your city so please take care of it